Hi, and welcome to Midwest Foods Produce Time. I'm Patrick Fitzgerald, and I'll be guiding you through this week's December 19th Produce Times. First, we're going to start with just a little bit of uh, some information about our schedule this week. So, I sent out an email of this, and I also have this uh, going out on invoices. Midwest Foods is going to be closing at 10 o'clock on Saturday, and then closed for Sunday and closed on Monday after Christmas. For the following week, for the New Year's weekend, we are going to be closing at 11 o'clock on Saturday, closed on Sunday, and closed on Monday as well. So please make note of it, make your preparations ahead of time, and have a happy and safe holiday. Also, the 16th was the last pay for the holiday wreaths. We're done with selling those things. If we can get it um, from our supplier, then we will make attempts to do it, but these uh, Christmas and holiday decoration stuff are, are done for the season, so just to make note of that. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what's going on in the market. So, we have some uh, better weather this past week. So we've got Huron that's going to be in the uh, 60s. we got Yuma that's going to be in the 60s. So that's great. But of course we have a lot of uh, demand in products. So the cauliflower, the broccoli, the green beans, and the asparagus are all going to be a lot higher uh, in price due to the fact of the demand. In regards to a few of the uh, items that we have a problem with, it's definitely going to be romaine, romaine hearts and head lettuce. And that's not due to demand, that's going to be more of a weather related issue. And the berries are going to be coming off this week because of the better weather and the, uh, even though the demand is there, you're going to see a much better product overall, uh, better quality product this week. So I brought out some uh, frisee with me today. This is the Circus Frisee. It's a product that's actually grown for the yellowness in the, in the product. The, uh, the baby brisee is the one that has the green leaves on this. This has been trimmed down and actually the way the grower actually does it is it will take a rubber band, tie it around the top of the frisee and stop the sunlight from getting to the heart of it. That's, so through photosynthesis it's not taking place in there, it keeps it yellow. But that's the circus frisee, it comes in a three pound box and it's a great little product. We also have some uh, baby eggplants. So we haven't had these for a little while, but they have just started up. They're coming out of chili in their hothouse variety. Uh, they're not too expensive. They're probably in the $20, $25 price. Kum kumquats have come a long way since they first started about three weeks ago. As you can tell, they're actually getting to be a much better size. The color in there is far better than they've had been in the first, uh, first week, and the taste is actually very good. So here's an item that we uh, had thought had been out for a while. However, what this grower did is took his product, put it in, co in cold storage CAs, and held on to them. So he had probably about two, three pallets left. He started shipping them this week, and we started getting them in. So there's some brown turkey figs that are available. We should have them for Christmas, but it's all about supply and demand right now. Uh, this product just started a little while ago. It is a heirloom mixed melody cherry tomato, and as you can see, they've got plenty of varieties. We've got the orange sun gold, we've got the yellow sun gold, we have a uh, large cherry tomato, we also have some grape tomatoes in there, and then we have the purple Cherokee grape tomatoes. So great color, great uh, sizing for anybody that wants to do any kind of mixed melody cherry tomato. So we sell a ton of different types of carrots. What I brought out with us today is the Tops On Baby Carrots. We have them in the yellow orange, red, and purple variety. Now these actually do cut orange on the inside, so it's just on the skin, but they call it the maroon carrot. And this comes in a 24 count box. It's a baby assorted carrot. So I brought out a little bit of a, uh, a different uh, lettuce that we sell. This is a Trevisio. It is akin to the Radicchio lettuce out of California. It comes about the same size. Uh, in terms of count, it's a 9, 10 count, and uh, it costs about $10 more a case, but it is a little bit different, have a different uh, play presentation, tastes the same too. Trevisio. So I thought I'd bring you out some of the clementines that we've been getting in, which have been great. Uh, again, the seedless tangerine, they are available now. This is the season. The price isn't more than $10 a box, $12 a box, but they are fantastic. So I know I keep bringing and putting uh, apples on the table every week, but this is something I haven't, been, haven't brought out before. This is the Asian apple pear, and it is grown in California, but the seed is from China. So again, an Asian apple pear. Only a couple more weeks left of cherries. This is the cherry 
from Chile, 18 pounder. The price is down again this week. You're probably looking at somewhere around $35 a box. Quality is, is great. Um, and again, cherries from Chile. So another item that we brought in from uh, that is cherry related. This is an Armenian cherry out of Italy. They come in this little opaque box, um, box but we also have them in six number 10 can, which is the food service uh, size. We have two different types. We have the broken and we have the whole. They're a considerable price difference, maybe about $20 more for the whole than the broken, but uh, really great cherry, especially if you're doing the drunken cherries out of uh, European and Another product that we're getting out of Italy is this Florentine onion. It is similar to a Cipollini onion, and it is grilled and soaked in balsamic and oil. So for our produce surprise, I brought out a dragon. So the dragon fruit is coming out of California. It's about $5 a piece. They cut a uh, tropical flavor, kind of like a kiwi, white on the inside, but absolutely wonderful. Great this time of year, and they are in season. And that's the prototype for this week. Thank you, and have a safe holiday.